Hello. I've just emptied this bucket of soil and a couple more like it into my wheelbarrow. This is soil that I used last year to grow vegetables in. It's been overwintered in buckets with a layer of chop and drop on top. And one of the things I've, I've always advocated is that if we can uh, overwinter the soil with a layer of chop and drop on it, uh, let the wind and the rain take the strain, let that help to incorporate it into that soil, and any of the creepy crawlies and worms in there will benefit from that. Um, when we take the soil back out of the bucket, if we can find evidence of, of life in that soil, then hey, it's healthy soil, isn't it? If it wasn't healthy soil, anything that lived in there would skedaddle. Check these out. Let me just get in a bit closer. Check these out. These small white threads, these are baby worms. So the worms have actually reproduced in this soil. It couldn't be any better, could it? That's a clear indication of how good this soil is. If it wasn't that good, the worms wouldn't stay near you, they wouldn't breathe. The, the worms would not stay near you and they would not breathe. They'd move out uh, and find somewhere else. Clearly they've liked it in here, they've liked overwintering in this soil and there's been enough food supply in there delivered by that layer of chop and drop that they've set up home and they've actually bred in this bucket. Now what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to be sowing some shallots in this bucket and the other buckets I've already recharged this soil with some uh, onion fertilizer. I've just mixed it in. I'm going to pop it back into this bucket. I'm not going to disturb these baby worms. They can grow on uh, and further enrich the soil. And then we're going to plant those shallots in this bucket. Just keep it going, it's an ecosystem. Let's try and keep it going. And no doubt there will be other baby worms in this soil that we can't actually see um, because they're in the soil. Okay. Right. Let's go and get those shallots. These are the shallots I'm growing this year. It's a variety called Red Sum. Um, I'm going to put four in each of these 10 inch uh, water buckets. I find that's enough. Any more than that will be too many. Four is quite adequate for a 10 inch water bucket. If your buckets are bigger than that, you may want to put more in there. If your buckets are smaller than that, you may want to put uh, fewer in there. Okay. These are just a couple of uh, redundant food containers, as you can see, held in place with an elastic band. And this bottom one has got some compost in it, and I've simply sat these dozen shallots in there on that compost. Um, and they've been on there for about two weeks. They've been on there for about two weeks. Uh, I hope that's encouraged them to throw a few roots down and if it has it means they'll probably get away quicker uh, when they're transplanted into this bucket. There are no shoots yet that I can see but I'm hoping there are some roots when we tease these guys out. That's them just sitting on top of that, uh, that compost. Okay, um, let's take this one. 
Yeah, it's got some roots, hasn't it? Take that one. That one, it's got a few roots. Can you see that? Yep. That one doesn't look as though it's thrown any roots down just yet. We'll pop that back in there. We'll see if we can find another couple with roots. Yeah, that one's thrown some roots down. And, nope, no roots there. Yeah, we've got some roots there. So we've got four shallots that have already got roots. Right, let's get them in this bucket. Now I'm sure the instructions on that card tell me that they should be buried until you can just see the neck protruding uh, above soil level. But in actual fact I like to just sit them on top and press them. Like that. And that's worked for me over the years so I'm not changing. Just pop it on and press it. How's that? Uh, so when we'll wait um, a week or two longer for the other shallots uh, to catch up, for them to throw some roots down, and then we'll do two more buckets just like this. Um, and one of these buckets will be going in my square foot bucket garden. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, this is how I grow shallots here at uh, One Grown Veg. You may choose to grow them a different way, but this is how I've done it, and I've done it successfully for a number of years now. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.